The man you see in this video is called Maaze Namdekano, also known as Ohamadike, a title bestowed to him in Iboland. Namdekano is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He always stands for justice and fairness, a fearless leader who has vowed to see Biafra separate from Nigeria. To explain further and also to demystify the reason for this video, Nigeria is divided into 250 ethnic groups. Out of these groups are three major tribes, Igbo, Hausa, and Yoruba. The said Biafra are the Igbos and other majority tribes from the eastern part of Nigeria who have long been protesting to beat from Nigeria to form their own country, which they refer to as the Biafran land. The Biafran's quest for separation from Nigeria is due to the ethnic, political, and religious injustices they are facing in Nigeria. Tracing back to the Nigerian Civil War, from 1967 to 1970, Biafran separated from Nigeria, but the other two major tribes of Nigerians said no, which led to the Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War. The late Chukwemeka Odumebu Ojupu was the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra as of that time. He died on the 26th of November 2011. After his death comes another smart and intelligent leader of the indigenous people of Biafra whom I have previously mentioned his name as Namdi Kano. Oh yes. To summarize this, over the years now, Kano has been fighting for the freedom of Biafrans which led to his first arrest and he was released after they found him not guilty of charges. In his homeland, he was invaded by the Nigerian military which resulted in his fleeing to Israel for refuge. On his visit to Kenya, one fateful day, he was captured by the Nigerian government and extradited to Nigeria under the rule of President Buhari. For over three years now, Kano has been in detention and a lot of injustices have been going on as the Nigerian court keeps postponing his case for over three years now without pointing out his crime. According to Kano, the system in which he was brought back to Nigeria is against any country's law and they don't have any reason to try him in any court in Nigeria. I can never be tried in any court of law in Nigeria. That's what the law says. Anybody standing in trial or coming to try me is a terrorist. That's what their law says. Section what me? Section two, subsection three F of Terrorism Prevention and Prohibition Act. That's what it says. Any court considered to try me is committed an act of terrorism. Yes. It's very clear. You cannot violate the treaty that Nigeria entered into and then come to try that very person. It's not done anywhere in the world. Oh. So, so you must be aware of that. So that is why there is all these ridiculous delays. That is what Supreme Court said. I did not jump bail. My home was invaded. They came to kill me and I survived. They came to Kenya to kidnap me, brought me back to this country and seeking to try me, which the law says cannot happen. Namde Kano, being a bona fide citizen, of Biafran land and also a citizen of the United Kingdom was reported to have been abandoned by the UK government as he is illegally held in custody in Nigeria. Now the question is, can the UK government abandon their own bona fide citizen to be facing injustice in another country? The answer is no. This is simply because Nnamdi Kano is a black man, that's why he was abandoned. As I'm making this video now, Nnamdi Kano is still in detention and the court keeps postponing his case for over three years now. To be frank with you, there are so many injustices going on in Nigeria. How can a country who do not obey their own law stand? It is impossible. They prefer releasing criminals and leaving innocent man in custody for no reason. Release Namdekano. He is not a problem of Nigeria. He is not. 